It has just recently been announced that Channel 7's video game uh, play, Let's Plays, uh, Reviews, News and Discussion Show Screenplay starring Nick Boy, uh, Hex and Miles has been cancelled after only 12 months in production. Uh, they started off in January last year doing the pre-production work and they started their show in April last year so it was about 12 months uh, minus the Christmas break that they were in production and now they have been cancelled by Channel 7. It's been uh, remarkably disappointing because um, when the actual show was made it was hoped that this would fill in the gap that Good Game Pocket had left after the ABC had decided to cancel it. And so now, uh, once again, we have a TV show that is on a uh, daily or nearly to daily work schedule that tries to stay up to date with video game news and discussion and all of the latest games that are happening each and every day has been cancelled. And so now, in terms of Australian video game discussion content, one is left with, as far as audiovisual, one is left with Good Game Spawn Point, and then there are a few YouTube channels, which are very small, and there are a few uh, written word websites around the place. So as far as Australian video game news, reviews and discussion, there is very little left now that Screenplay has been cancelled. It has been said on a few forums that the decision by the Channel 7 executives to cancel Screenplay was made primarily because they were unable to find enough sponsors for the show. It was not based on the number of viewers and I believe that that is probably accurate. When you have a look at the numbers that Screenplay has been able to produce after only 12 months of production, it is quite impressive. Uh, the YouTube channel has something like 18,000 subscribers, which is, for a tiny little Australian show, it is quite impressive and remarkable. And then when you look at the number of views that most of their videos get, it is also quite remarkable, ranging from 1,000 to 5,000, and then even a few getting into the 10,000s. So, and that's only counting YouTube, not counting Facebook and uh, TV as well. So, as far as we can tell, there has been um, a lot of interest in screenplay as a TV show, as a YouTube channel, and uh, people have really taken to Nick, uh, Steph and Miles, and uh, the amount of fan engagement with the show has been quite significant. And so, it's been... A, it, this would suggest that it is correct that it is the commercial aspect that has failed. The fact that Channel 7 were unable to find enough sponsors for the pro for their show, which meant that there were not an, there was not enough ad revenue coming in that they could sustain it. Now, we can't tell from the outside exactly how Channel 7 managed this and what went wrong, so we are not in a position to say, but it would have to, you would have to believe that something was ter went terribly wrong for Channel 7 to not be able to do this right. We are dealing with uh, mostly uh, the people who are interested in screenplay, mostly are uh, younger people and mostly have some level of disposable income because they're able to afford their video game lifestyle. And so this is a demographic that has been very difficult for most advertisers to get their teeth into because uh, millennial spending habits uh, for younger people 18 to 34 has been very different to the older generations and so the advertisers uh, know that they have been struggling to maintain this new generation of consumers 
and so they should be thinking of how to redouble their efforts to actually gain those consumers through new advertising that is targeted towards this group. And so you would think that advertisers would be crawling all over themselves for this opportunity to get involved with this TV show, which is targeting mostly younger people, in the hope of actually creating a new generation of consumers for their products. And yet, the advertisers have not been interested. Channel 7 has not been able to get up enough revenue to uh, afford the show. And so in the end, they decided to cancel it. Now, this might be the advertisers' fault, or this might be Channel 7 executives' fault, but we just are not in a position to say right now. Another factor you would have to think that would be a very, very significant, very important, was the mismanagement of the screenplay show uh, that was on Thursday nights, or Friday nights, sometimes at 7.30pm, sometimes at 11pm, and it just kept chopping and changing, and often the case it was late at night, 10.30, 10.45 or 11pm, when people were thinking of going to bed, and it was not very well advertised, and it was just difficult to stay on top of how and when exactly one would need to watch screenplay on TV. That was a clear problem, and it was not resolved, and instead it seemed as, all, as though Channel 7 were trying to kill the show, deliberately put it on a very bad time slot, it gets low ratings, and then that gives you the excuse you need to cancel it like you want to. And if they're not interested in cancelling it, if they actually wanted to promote it and actually make screenplay into a core flagship product of Channel 7, then why didn't they do it properly and actually give it a good time and actually force viewers to watch it and see what happens? But we didn't see that. Now, 